right. So we're here with St. Vincent. Ladies, congrats on such a great season, making it this far. Something to be proud of. Uh, Coach, you want to start us off with a statement about the season, these two next to you, and just the team in general? Sure. Um, it was an excellent year. I thought we got better throughout the year. Um, I think there's a lot to be said about the time and commitment that our players put into the program. Um, very proud of these two young individuals next to me. Uh, Maria Morgan did an excellent job being our leader, and that's kind of what we just talked about in the locker room. But uh, she's all guts, competitive spirit through the roof. Um, then, you know, on top of being a very talented player, um, even better person. And same with Madison. Um, and then we have a, a great bunch that just buys into that, that philosophy. Yeah. Um, I mean, great season. It's your first 20-point win since 14-15 and reached the NCAA tournament for the first time since, the, uh, since 2011. Um, both of this happening in the same season, you had to f feel pretty good about yourselves. What was kind of like your um, motivation to kind of keep pushing yourself and keep getting better throughout the season? Um, I'd say after last year's semifinal game, when we lost to WJ there in overtime, um, we knew that there was an opportunity for us to go after the PAC championship and um, make a run in this NCAA tournament, but we didn't even mark that as a goal at our first meeting. Um, we said that we need to work hard this season, and we started postseason about two weeks after, and then preseason we were on campus that first day, and we were up at 7 a.m. five days a week, and uh, I think that's what got us to where we are today is all that hard work, those early morning workouts, and um, it made us come together and get that end result that we wanted without um, talking about it. Was we just worked hard towards it. Yeah, um, one of our sayings this year was get better every day, and I think we could have done a better job at doing that. Um, we took it day by day and used each day as a new opportunity to get better rather than focusing on a long-term goal. After already taking on Thomas Moore this year, and for however many years in the pack before this, what was kind of like your um, week like preparing for them? The full week? Yeah, like what, what was your week like this week? Well, I think it was different than past years because it, it's a different stage. Um, we've obviously played them in, in big games you know, throughout many seasons, but at the national level and in the tourney, um, there was a lot of excitement. I mean, we started Monday off with, with a pep rally. Couple hundred people were there, very well attended, a lot of energy. Um, and then when we we got our seat, it, you know, we had a meeting and we talked how the week was going to play out. And uh, you know, I mean, we practiced Tuesday, Wednesday on a bus, came down, Thursday practice, play Friday. Quick week. It was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, going on halftime, you guys are down three. What did you say to your team, and what did you two say to everyone in the locker room when you went in there? We said before the game, if we if we were within five, either up five or down five, we were right where we want to be. So we were feeling obviously pretty good, pretty confident. Mm -hmm. Did you guys say anything to your teammates? Try to like keep them level, keep them calm. Yeah, we just said that um, mostly. I think most teams go into this uh, game facing the number one seed, kind of scared a little bit, um, taken back if they are within three more, shocked at themselves, and I think. We just we were like, listen, we're sticking with them right now. Now let's go into this with confidence, and that's what we did right off the bat in that third quarter. And that's why we went up was because we looked at each other and said, we're just as good at that moment and whatnot. And I think we proved that at points during the game. Um, we had our weaknesses that showed, but overall, I think we proved ourselves a lot coming out that third quarter and um, just talked about our confidence. We needed to come out there with confidence, and I think our teammates responded very well to that. So. Um, I think we just focus on staying confident, um, keep doing what we're doing. I think we play very confident. Taking this great season uh, to an end, but how do you take that momentum into next year and just continue to improve and continue to reach the national level? Um, I think we showed everybody um, what we're made of. I think we have a lot more to show people. Um, we have a lot of potential and we all can't wait to get to work. Do you guys have anything? Coach, it's your highest win total since the 2010-2011 season. 
Um, and you had seniors like Maria Morgan on the team who not just provide on the court, but off the court with the energy. What has those type of players meant to your team into this special run of the season so far? They're the only reason why it happens. You know, and you can talk about all the X's and O's you want and talk about all the other things that really, they matter, but they don't matter unless you have players like sitting right here, you know, in uniform. Um, the win total, um, you know, that's a direct result of the girls putting forth the effort, the sacrifice and commitment. And then handling the pressure, that was an intense environment. I think everyone can feel that and see that and be a part of it. And it always is here. You know, it's a great environment and that's what makes it fun. Um, but like, I don't take a single shot. I don't make a pass, I don't do it. We sit on the sideline. So these guys on the floor, that have to go through that and battle that together. Um, you know, that's, that's a direct result of, to your question. Yeah, you know, Coach, uh, talking about the confidence level going into the halftime, only down by three, saying either you were down by five or up by five, you'd be pretty happy with where you are. How confident were you heading into the second half, and how proud of you? How how proud of the girls were you? Yeah, um, no, I mean, it, it's a risky statement, right? Because if you're down twenty, you're you're in a different scenario. Um, you know, so for us to have that mindset where. You know, and you got to risk. You got to take a gamble in at this stage. So, um, you know, obviously we, we didn't play perfect. You know, there were things that we did well and things that we didn't do well. We didn't handle their pressure well in the run and jump. We got out rebounded pretty pretty severely. Um, and I think they they sped us up in the half court offense a little bit. And that's what good teams do. So there were still things that we could improve on going into that second half. But. Uh, you know, to answer your question, I mean, it should be proud. You know, it, I, I can't remember the, the final score uh, three, four weeks ago, but I know they smacked us pretty good. You know, and, and I know psychologically that could always kind of play into your mind game a little bit. And these players on this basketball team are, are very strong-willed and they're very determined young ladies. And I think sometimes in sports we lose sight of, of what it's really about. And I think... You know, seeing what they've done throughout this year and throughout an environment like that, they're going to do great things long after they hang up that jersey. And that's what we're really proud of and, and really focused on, is if trying to develop, you know, obviously student athletes, but, but better people. And, and what they don't realize is we learn more from them than they learn from us. And that's what makes it, I think, very special. Maria, you being the senior on the team, what has the success in this team meant to you this season? Um, tremendous amount. Um, I was just telling them they might, they all made my dreams come true, cutting down a net this past week, uh, winning the pack championship. I've never done that before, so um, it was a perfect way to go out um, this year and to make a run and to get to the national tournaments. Obviously, a dream too. Everyone's always talking about. Well, we're going dancing, and the fact that we got to say that was pretty cool um, all together and whatnot. And uh, I can't wait to see what they do next year. I mean, it's just a great group to work with. Uh, I said this too, like, they make me work harder, and it's just that's what it's about at the end of the day is uh, creating that bond and making memories like this that I'll never forget. So I couldn't be more happy about the way this season went. So, all right. Well, great season, ladies. Good luck next season. Thank you. Yeah.